What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Wednesday. We are inching closer and closer to our West Coast tour. So get those tickets. I'm talking to you, Portland, because everywhere else is sold out right now. So thank you to everybody who bought tickets in San Diego, Scottsdale, San Francisco, and uh, hopefully Portland. Seattle, we're still working on, guys. Hopefully the tickets will be up soon. We don't know what the fuck is happening there. Yeah, it might it, not even be this week now, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, so we're, we're sorry about that, but the, the venue's ghosting us, so that's to, to be quite honest yeah. about what's happening. Yeah. The venue has ghosted us, and so we can't put the tickets on sale, which is unfortunate. It's not anything on our end. We want to put the tickets on sale. But make sure you guys, uh, Portland, the tickets are still available, so go to the link in the description. Buy those. Uh, we can eat lobster rolls together. It'll be really great. I'm, I'm picturing a platter of them coming out in the middle of the live show also our new merch yep. is still available so make sure you go to the link in the description and that's really it you know housekeeping <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is a little housekeeping i um i i don't have anything happening this week like i feel like i'm just i'm i tried to keep this week as light as possible because of the anticipation of Easter like holiday into holy shit now we're leaving in a week <laughs> yeah prep for next week it is like so once close. Easter oh is over like once, so e- close. once Easter is over weeks. oh it's less than two once Easter is over it's like oh wait fuck we leave in a week I need to order my clothes today what am I doing I don't know what you I don't know what you're doing I, I, well, I ordered it. a bunch I gotta get on it today I was being lazy I gotta get on it today I'm gonna go to Florida this weekend see my yeah, parents I'm for jealous. Easter that'll be nice that'll be very nice um that'll be very nice i'm i will have family time it's just joe's family which is also yeah, great that's, love that's joe's lovely family. yes you, exactly you spend time with them on a holiday I know, yes. that's nice and it's not my fault mom uh, you know flights were a, 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 a atrocious amount of money to west palm beach yeah. when i looked i waited too long if yeah. i bought them six months ago i would have been good you should have bought them when i bought them yeah and i waited way too long and then all of a sudden we flights could have been hanging out twelve hundred dollars on trip. easter evening yeah we could have spent nice. our first holiday together what do you do on Easter? New Year's Eve. Does that qualify as a holiday? That's a friend holiday. Though. Yeah, that's true. You know, like a family holiday. A real religious one. holiday. Yeah, I could see our pictures get uh, our pictures. Our families getting together. Yeah. On Easter because we can't, why not? Why not? But unfortunately, that won't happen this year. No. But nope. Uh, yeah. I'm. Uh, what do we do on Easter? You eat. Yeah. You go to church. Go to church and eat. <laughs> do the hunt. Egg, uh, egg hunt. An egg, egg hunt. hunt. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. The, that ended a few years back for my family um, because there was a big blowout fight. Mm. <laughs> they put, you put money in the eggs? Yeah, my yeah, sister's yeah. really not that. good yeah. at uh, handling those things. Yeah. Not getting the money. So. Yeah, there's always... <laughs> it had to end. <laughs> yeah. The, um, I saw, like, my little cousins just did it at the... And they had there was a party that they all went to the big Easter egg hunt. All the kids you get all mm-hmm. dressed up. You wear your Easter your Easter Sunday best. Yeah, <laughs> the the last egg hunt that I had was my best egg hunt. Mm. And I you went out on top. That. I went out on top, <laughs> which I never was on top of the egg hunt. I was yeah. pretty lazy with it because my sister was so competitive in a way that it was annoying. It was yeah. like all right, I don't even want to try with you because you're. I have right now pictures in my brain of her like running around the house like I'm absolute fucking animal yeah and it would just make me uncomfortable I'm like we're taking this so seriously and then the last year that we did it I found like the golden egg with yeah. the big hundo in it Ooh, yeah yeah. yeah yeah that's yeah and, we had a golden egg too. right well like yeah. there was some bill. like coins or like yeah five dollars here dollars the golden egg had the, the hundo and I found that one and a whole my sister was not fucking happy and she was like 28 so <laughs> it, I feel that, it had to end <laughs> that's like uh for jewish people you know the off you come in mm-hmm. passover where you hide the matzah mm. it's fun yeah and, and also competitive very competitive. very competitive yeah. the um i've also decided and i've talked to a lot of people about this but the like sometimes the easter branded candy tastes better than the actual candy like noah n- no offense, I know you can't be eating any of it, but like the Reese's eggs mm, are so good. Are so good. Wow, I just an elite realized Reese's brand that you can't have Reese's. <laughs> you just realized that. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't yeah. put two That's and two like together. That's like the thing That's, I think yeah. of when it's like peanut. 
Like, yeah. That's really upsetting. Yeah. Uh, it's Reese's, not really upsetting to me because Because you've I, never had it? Well, that... Uh, I technically did have Reese's Pieces once and I, it was not fun, but... Yeah, that uh, sounds bad. But, like, I don't... It doesn't look or smell good to me, so it's like I'm not sad about missing out right, on it. Right, right, because like, you're allergic to it. Like, it's gross to me. Yeah. Well, boy, do they taste good. They taste so good. They taste so good. So good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Do you want to show this off? Oh, oh my yeah. Uh, <laughs> I bet in the GoPro it looks so scary. I mean, don't don't throw him. <laughs> See, oh, uh, you can catch him. All right. Go over here. Over here. Uh, yeah. Watch the cameras. There we go. <laughs> Little baby. <laughs> Little baby Dobby. <laughs> Dobby is just, um, we have like a... You know, like those dolls that you get and then they like grow. <laughs> this one's really creepy. I, I like mine. No offense to whoever sent it. But you this. know what I'm saying? Like we had the little one and now it just feels like we're getting a bigger and bigger Dobby. It looks like Dobby's like cousin or something. Not Dobby. <laughs> Dobby's uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Do- yeah. Dobby's. Uncle. He looks like an off-brand Dobby. Dobby has like some bizarre like nipple ass. That's what I was gonna say. Is that a nipple? Right. I was like, Fran, are you taking Dobby's shirt off? Well, I right. wanted to see if it was on the I'm other side. I'm gonna be side. perverted. I'm gonna undress Dobby. I just wanted to see if it was on the other side. I don't even know if you could show this on YouTube. I also no, can't I undress show it. this on YouTube. What do you think's under there? Oh my god, those are his nipples. No, he just has like two little two little nips <laughs> sticking out. Yeah. Oh my god, Dobby's got ripped. a six pack. Belly button. Oh my god, he's an outer Audi. <laughs> the more this you could know be very this is a very accurate <laughs> depiction. No, I am. He looks really upset okay, that he's na- naked. And yeah, you embarrass him. Put his, put his. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah. You beautiful eyes, though. Something about this one feels extraordinarily real. <laughs> the way yeah. you just said that, extraordinarily, yeah. extraordinarily weird, real, extraordinarily. <laughs> I want. <laughs> It kind of. I like, wanted to say extremely, yeah. but I was like, I need to go broader. You got to go bigger. <laughs> yeah, there's something bigger, about his eyes that yeah, it too. seems like they're following you, but they're they don't move. they're not. They don't move. But I'm, I like this Dobby. The eyes look pretty real. That's why it's weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're, you are. You trying like... to like make the same face, or <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're trying yeah. to do. <laughs> He can sit on me the rest of the episode. Oh. Reenact the uh, final scene with him. <laughs> oh, oh, this is not working so well there, Rhea. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. She yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, put me Mom, down. Mom, put, put me, me down. down. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I became his mother all of a sudden, but. All right. There he is. Okay. All right, Dobbs. You good? He's yep. good. All right. I can't believe we just showed his nips. Yeah. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Yeah, happy <laughs> Wednesday. Look at Dobby's nippies. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get into today's let's get episode. To <laughs> let's get to the topics. Get your mind off of Dobby's nipples. Oh, guys, uh, the ultimatum. The last two episodes are out now. I oh, think, yeah. Today, right? I'm excited. So we can talk yeah, about we have it on to Friday. Talk, talk about that on Friday. Uh, the, the topics. So everyone watch them. The topics for today are. Yes. Go ahead. Rihanna graced the cover of Vogue and uh, talked all about her pregnancy, her life right now, her style, ASAP Rocky. It was a beautiful article. Britney Spears is uh, officially pr- expecting another child with Par- her fiance, yeah. Sam. And Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have not decided on a baby name for their. Oh, that's our last topic. <laughs> you just, came, oh, you just um, came up with that. No, on, no. On your own. That's not our last topic. Yeah. <laughs> that's not. Should we cut this or leave that part in? <laughs> just leave it in. I'm just leaving it in. We're actually not talking about that. No, but we should. I mean, we, maybe we, we should. No, we could just touch on it really quickly. There's not much to say besides the fact that Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have yet to name their child. Yeah, they, there's, they're workshopping some names. Yeah, they're still workshopping. So that's that topic. Uh, <laughs> the, final to- <laughs> the final topic is the Clayton tiktok saga where he was outed for being in new york city but he actually wasn't there yeah. and so we dive into all that we have a great interview with jenny mullen we talked about her new book we talked about life as a mother we are clearly not mothers so we learned a lot it was a lot of fun so let's get into it starting off with rihanna 
It's the middle of the week, so you know that we need that extra energy to get us through to the end of the week. You know, the weekend's coming up, but not just yet because it's the middle of the week. We need that extra push, and that's where Celsius came in. If you listen to the podcast last week, Fran was loving the Celsius. It gave her all the energy. She wouldn't (laughs) shut up at one point. I I didn't shut up the whole episode. Also, the rest of the day, she didn't shut up. I know. I was a chatty Uh, Kathy. She she had all the energy in the world, and that's what Celsius will do to you. Keep you active and energized all day. It also has zero zero sugar, which I find very important with these energy drinks. You don't want to be taking in a ton of sugar. That's not good for you. It has seven essential vitamins and it's not like a traditional energy drink because it has all these vitamins in there for you. No sugar. A lot of energy drinks are built with a lot of sugar because that's sometimes where you get that artificial energy from. Mm -hmm. Not with Celsius. It's packed with premium ingredients for you. They also have a ton of flavors. Watermelon, grape, mango, passion fruit, peach, strawberry, and way more. The list goes on and on. Uh, They also have different product lines. They have the Celsius Heat, which includes caffeine to help boost energy to overcome any challenge uh, and Celsius on the go, which are small packets that with flavors that you could just put into water bottles if you need a quick boost. So go to Celsius.com to find a store near you or you can order online at Amazon, Walmart or Target Celsius Live Fit. Rihanna was on the cover of Vogue looking gorgeous as ever. She is the most beautiful pregnant woman to grace God's green earth. And she looks stunning. And she talked all it's about her pregnancy, insane. her style, fashion, ASAP Rocky, what she did during lockdown. It was really a great article. And I think that Rihanna's personality always comes out in these things. Yeah. And you just see how funny she is and how real she is and also how kind she is to interviewers like I think you see it on the red carpet often she's always joking around with the ones that she knows and it seemed like she She knew her already people she remembered her they did an interview a while back in Paris so yeah they seem like they have like an actual right relationship yes and it was uh it was a really good article really really good I mean the, the entire this is the whole thing is so Rihanna Paris fashion week getting to see that inside look seeing these outfits that she's wearing in these um pictures insane i mean there's one of her um in what there's one of her in the in the tub which is epic and then there's another with her like with the w- big window open in paris and it looks like she's just in like the comforter from like the bed um but it's a coat <laughs> it's a mark jacobs coat and she's in obviously savage fenty underwear and she's got like these you know earrings the big diamond earrings absolutely stunning she and i love that she's like she talked about these looks when underwear is involved or things like that and she's like people are gonna see my underwear anyway might as well be mine like when it comes to like wearing her savage fenty underwear and having it like be a part of the outfit it's like yeah, I mean, people are probably going to see it anyway. So, like, yeah, I love good that. point. I love good Rihanna. Point. I love Rihanna's style. She talked about how she wasn't going to be shopping down the maternity aisle. No. That she's going to keep. The, I love what she, she said. She doesn't want to wear something that she wouldn't have worn when she's not pregnant, which yeah. I think is awesome. I think Too that, much fun to get dressed yeah. up, she said. I think more she's people right. need to take that lead. Now, there's nothing wrong with if you want to wear maternity clothes, but you won't catch me wearing maternity clothes yeah. when I'm pregnant. Like, I know that for a fact. But just because it's about style, like when you have such like Rihanna, who has her own style Mm -hmm. and everybody knows that she has such a profound style and people know her style. You're like, she's not just going to switch that up because she's pregnant. She's going to make her pregnancy style her own thing. And she crushes it like she looks her style right now might be the best style she's ever had. Like every single outfit that she wears, I'm like, I want to wear that outfit. She said, I'm hoping that we were able to read redefine what's considered decent for pregnant women. My body is doing incredible things right now, and I'm not going to be ashamed of that. This time should feel celebratory because why should you be hiding your pregnancy? I thought that was great. And I also picture ASAP Rocky looking at her and being like, oh, my God, this yeah. is the mother of my child. Like, how fucking beautiful is she? Like, and and just walking around pregnant like that. Like, she's yeah. just so beautiful. She said fashion she wise, they've been like iron sharpening iron, like yeah, between the two of them. Like, oh, my God. Her caption yesterday on Instagram uh, I almost cried. The fashion I, killer. I was like, yeah. oh, what a throwback. 
<laughs> because Rihanna was in his Fashion Killer music video. I was like, oh, these two. Yeah. These two. I love them so much. I love Rihanna and ASAP Rocky together so much. <laughs> yeah. And to hear the way that she talked about him and taking him home to her family. And obviously, he was in the friend zone for a while. I think we knew that. Like, if you watch interviews between Rihanna and ASAP Rocky from years ago, uh, ASAP Rocky always called Rihanna like his sister because he's probably couldn't get out of the friend zone. Yeah, she and- said. She's like, it takes, it's very hard. She said, I don't, people don't get out of the friend zone very easily with me. And then there was an uh, an incident where he grabbed her ass on stage at the VMAs in 2012 while she was performing. And yeah, they were performing together. And her team was ready to, I don't, I don't remember that. that at all. Yeah. And her team was ready for Rihanna to be in like a really bad mood because you just don't do that to Rihanna. And they yeah. were like, well, she must like this guy a little bit because she didn't really care right. that much. Right. Uh, so I think that people have been rooting for Rihanna and ASAP for a while. And I think that they were rooting for each other for a while. But she also mentioned that she had to get over things that she knew about him and he had to get over things that he knew about her because they had been friends for so long. So they obviously knew a lot about each other and probably like past relationships and all things that you don't probably want to know or hear about your significant other. So, but that must make their relationship even better. Yeah, I, yeah. She, they knew how much trouble they could land each other in, which is exactly right. You hear the worst. You're with your guy friends or you're chatting about your relationships or ex-relationships you're telling her like bad shit that you did or that happened to you and vice versa and then you're probably just like oh my god like remember when you what happened with yeah. that girl like how yeah, am i supposed you gonna to do like that to me yeah um but they just clearly were able to get past that he said that he became her family in the time like during lockdown where they were able to really spend a lot of time together they took a road trip in the summer of 2020 from LA to New York and they were in like a big tour bus and they just did it the two of them and she said that they would park and Rihanna would grill barefoot while Rocky tie-dyed t-shirts picked up at the gas station she said I cooked our food on this little janky grill I bought from Walmart I still have it too it works like nobody's business I love the simple things but also the grand adventures there's no pretentious my brand your brand bullshit it's just us living I just feel like I can do any part of life by his side it's fucking beautiful I might name my kid Rocky I just it's a good name I like the name Rocky I know I know a Rocky in my family. You can also like you could also go with Rocco and like make if you wanted it to have that Italian spin and then and then and call him Rocky. And then it's Rocky. Yeah. Like Rocky Balboa. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. My my family <laughs> loves Rocky. Yes. My brother's got Rocky posters yeah. on his wall. Yeah. Ah. Rambo. Mm. Interesting. Um that's definitely a good name. It is a very good name. Um I just also imagine like I just the thought of the two of them pulled over in some like parking lot walmart parking lot with their tour bus like hanging watching like real housewives of beverly (laughs) hills on the tour bus and just i don't know i can never get past like how much of a big bravo fan rihanna is and it just makes me think like in these moments you always make your boyfriend watch a show that you're watching especially if you're if you're driving across the country there's nowhere for you to go you're on this tour bus together if she's like oh, i gotta catch up on on an episode and and he, he's, rocky's asap rocky's watching like who's that? <laughs> who's that he's probably like i'll do anything for you rihanna yeah. Also, they probably just smoked a ton of weed and watched Real Housewives, which just sounds funny, and yeah. then ate hot dogs. I know, and I love that they kind of have like this connection um, where he, he did go home with her to Barbados and met her mom, and uh, that her mom, you know, really likes him, charmed by him. And they also said that, you know, ASAP Rocky was born and raised in Harlem, but he does have some roots in mm. Barbados. His. Uh, late father immigrated from Barbados so Rihanna talked about like seeing him in that space I feel like that's such a great connection for them that I didn't even know they had because I I just feel like she's so connected to Barbados and like is that such like home and she's so connected to that and for him to have like a little bit of that right is probably is probably so nice um it's just beautiful the whole thing's beautiful she she said what i love the most about us transparency with everything how we're feeling what our goals are what our fears and insecurities are the vulnerability to be able to say what you feel about each other it is beautiful there was no planning for the pregnancy she said it's just like they she wasn't you know 
monitoring. She very she only as only Rihanna can say. I don't know when I ovulate or any of that type of shit. We just had fun. <laughs> yeah. And she said they weren't planning for it, but they weren't planning against it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Take that as you will. You know what that means. Yeah, e- exactly. And so just hearing that connection is so great. And yes, she does have this connection. Um, they're talking about babies, just her friends who have babies, family members that have babies, like where she would dream want to raise her kids. And the uh, there is a little bit of music talk <laughs> which we do kind of forget i feel like it was such a big thing of yeah. like when is she going to put out right. new music that now it's just like the last thing you ask in an interview it's like oh by the way music question mark yeah everyone kind of let it go because they're like all right she's pregnant we won't bother her but like still are you gonna release anything yeah she said um i'm looking at my next project completely differently from the way i had wanted to put it out before i think this way suits me better a lot better it's authentic it'll be fun for me and it takes a lot of pressure off so no idea what that means but no that was rihanna giving an answer without giving any answer whatsoever yeah there'll be no baby showers for rihanna as well uh, and if she does throw one it's it's going to be a massive party she said uh she's like no brunch no blush tones no animal shape nothing she said it's lit for a lot of people i've planned some like that before not for me she said personally i want a party i want everyone to be plastered and crawling out and it's going to be co- and it's got to be co-ed don't put me in a worker chair and have gifts everywhere. I'm so <laughs> fucking with her on this. I said this to you the other day you about yeah, baby yeah, shower. Yeah. Yeah. I will not be having a baby shower like that. I, I And I told you not to either. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes it happens. Yeah. It's just the most ridiculous... Showers are a scam. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that people, like, get, send gifts and everything. Yeah. Like, let's figure out another way to do all of this because I think they're the biggest scam on the planet. Nobody well, wants yeah, to I go mean, to them. They are literally just fun. to get gifts. They're, it's literally just to get gifts. Like, let's think of another way to do this because it's terrible. It yeah. really is. So I, I'm with Rihanna on that. And I wouldn't expect Rihanna to have a, a boring baby shower like that. <laughs> no gender reveal party either um, is, you know, what she said as well. So it's it's great. And I just feel like she is such a sweetheart. They're in this they're in a restaurant in Paris. It's 4 a.m. They've been talking all night long having this connection and then as they're leaving and it's late and she went to call an uber this was written by and i i really don't want to like i really don't want to botch her name and i probably am am going to so my apologies but she wrote such a beautiful article kioma ninati that sounded about right c-h-i-o-m-a chioma but i if it was uh, an Italian pronunciation, Kioma. <laughs> so that's what I'm. That's what I'm going with. And she, but it was it was really nice. Like she spoke about herself wanting to um, have a baby now, and like she got to put her hand on Rihanna's bump, and the baby Lucky. kicked. And <laughs> Lucky duck. Yeah, yeah. And then when she was leaving, she went to call an Uber, and it was late, and Rihanna insisted that she give her a ride home. She said, "You know, it's just not safe out there at this hour. It's very nice." That mother's is, no she ended it mother's no best it's like very cute oh god the whole thing was fantastic and yeah rihanna just seems like a true gem she really does she has the more and more i read her art like read interviews with her or watch videos with her she has always been on the list of like oh you dream guests like that kind yeah. of thing but it's gone higher and higher. Yeah, I feel like because recently she would just be so cool so and give real cool. answers, like with her own personality. Yeah, like some of these people don't answer things with their own personality. Like if you read that, you know it's Rihanna talking. So fucking cool. Like, um, I listened today. It's just I don't know. It's just so cool. I listened today to to not skinny but not fat. Amanda, she did a she interviewed Kim Kardashian. Like so fucking cool kim kardashian went on her podcast i listened like was listening to the podcast she's one of my favorite people to follow on instagram regardless but she like she has been posting about the kardashians for years endlessly and she said to kim like i never thought this was even possible i never my wildest dreams even like listed you as a guest as a dream guest because it just seems so far-fetched and they just made this connection and you know kim followed her on instagram and this whole thing got set up and she's on the podcast and the way like i loved hearing that too because i think sometimes they don't the Kardashians don't do podcasts like they don't do a podcast a lot of podcasts so when they do 
you actually hear them speak in a much more candid way than say the late night shows or the mm-hmm. eight minute access Hollywood hits that they're able to do. Like you don't, they don't dive in. And when you can actually hear them like open up, it's really cool, like that podcast form conversation. So like hearing Kim talk like that was so cool. And I feel like Rihanna would be just the same. Yeah, like we need Rihanna would let it podcast. fucking fly. Yeah. And I I feel like it's actually um when you make that connection with somebody like Kim Kardashian and the Kardashians, they don't forget about you. Like no. now she's in. She's in. Like they, she's they like will part follow, of the family. Right, they will follow everything she does. They will yeah. support her. She'll be on the PR list. She's, she'll be invited to like every event. She'll go to the parties. Like yeah. she's totally in now. So that's really cool. It was and really, really I cool. I do think you're right. I think Rihanna would be right? great on a podcast. Like that made me think like after listening to that and then reading this Rihanna article, I was like, Rihanna would be so f- She'd be so good on that. She's just so fucking We need a better famous. studio uh, if we're going to have Brianna on the podcast. I would actually, um, like, rent a fake studio. Oh, absolutely. Like, I'd find something so cool. Like, I'd be willing to spend my own money. Oh, we'd have to, to rent find out. find a studio that, like, looked so sick. Yeah. And we'd pretend it was ours. Right. Buy, like, thousands of dollars like, with rent art. a penthouse. Yeah, yes. we would have to rent yes. a penthouse in New York City. 100%. I'd be like, oh, we're recording in the penthouse at, like, X Hotel. Yeah, and like, then when she came, we would yeah. we would just say that, like, one of our family members owns it or yeah. something like that. Like, we'd have to really just be lie. like, yeah, you, we know um, the manager yeah, helped yeah, we're, us. We're, we're, we're close with him. It's no big deal. Yes. Don't worry about it. Exactly. You don't have to pitch in, Rihanna. We got oh, it. Oh, my God. Just the absolute the absolute coolest and the pictures like are there's not a lot of times now when i'm like i want to pick up a hard copy of a magazine Mm -hmm. this is one where i'd be like i'd like to have this in a hard copy and leave it on your coffee table yeah exactly we all saw that commercial during the super bowl this year i know this it's a even a, a, a few months now, but I think everyone remembers it. When you saw that floating QR code on your screen, you were like, what the heck is this? Well, guess what? It was for Coinbase. Coinbase is a trusted and easy to use platform where you can buy and sell crypto. So if you've been looking to level up your financial portfolio, it's always good to diversify. Why not think about cryptocurrency? Backed by the world's leading investors, Coinbase keeps your portfolio safe and secure while adding crypto into your mix. Coinbase offers a trusted and easy-to-use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. The user experience is top of the line and includes multiple resources to keep the user up to date on the crypto world. They support the most popular digital currencies on the market and make them accessible to everyone. They offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. For a limited time, new users can get $10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash CITO. Sign up at coinbase.com slash CITO for $10 in free Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only. So be sure to sign up today one more time. That's coinbase.com slash CITO. Britney Spears announced on Instagram that she is expecting a child with her fiance, Sam. Um, initial reaction to this was, you know, a bit eh, tiptoe. Was like, wait, what? Yeah, you never. She wa- wrote it in a weird way. She w- wrote it in a weird way. I think it was kind of obvious she was saying she was pregnant. I also listen. Who am I to say who shouldn't be having kids or not? Whatever. I'm yeah. not. I am not saying that. I just want that on record. But I think everyone probably had the same reaction. Like, should Britney Spears having be having a kid right this second? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't advise for I, it. I, you know what? I think she <laughs> is like a really good mom, and I think because of all the shit that happened with her when she had her kids younger, she got a ba- a rep at, like as a bad mom. And I don't think that that was necessarily I don't think the it's case. About her being a bad mom or a good mom, it's more so like Brittany needs to focus on herself right. a little bit right now because she's had a crazy, crazy you know, past couple of years. Yeah. I, yeah, I think, I mean, it has clearly been something that's been on her mind for a while. Like I was thinking about the, um, when we all heard the tape of her, whatever the recording mm. of her speaking in court, it was like, I can't get my like IUD taken out. Like, because I'm not like, I don't have the authority to do that. And I want to have more kids. So if this is all, you know, if this is all true and happening, then 
clearly she's living out the things that she's wanted to do. But so this is what she wrote. So she wrote, I lost so much weight to go on my Maui trip only to gain it back with a bunch of shruggy emojis. Loves the emojis. I thought, geez, what happened to my stomach? My husband said, she also always calls him her husband. I, they're not married yet, right? I don't, I don't know. Think so. I don't think so. My husband said, no, you're food pregnant, silly. Laugh, laughy face, this face. <laughs> 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 so I got a pregnancy test and, uh, well, I am having a baby. Four days later, I got a little more food pregnant. It's growing. That was the line that I got confused. I was like, wait. Is this a joke or like a little more food pregnant? Like was she? I don't know. I could. I think she was saying like her stomach got bigger. Yeah, it and got it was bigger. Like, oh, I'm, yes. I'm. It's actually still, happening. Yeah. yeah. Um, she said if two are in there, I might just lose it. I obviously won't be going out as much to the paps getting their money shot at me like they unfortunately already have. It's hard because when I was pregnant, I had perinatal depression i have to say it is absolutely horrible women don't talk didn't talk about it back then some people considered it dangerous if a woman complained like that with a baby inside her but now women talk about it every day thank jesus we don't have to keep that pain a reserved proper secret this time i'll be doing yoga every day spreading lots of joy and love great message at you know at the end because i think that is clearly something that she went through that she didn't openly talk about maybe she will now um but she's happy you know sam posted uh, also a picture of like the lion lion cub and lion parents <laughs> mommy lion daddy lion <laughs> and to talk about fatherhood sometimes britney's instagrams also it's just funny to think that like the picture is of a tea or coffee and a little pink cup with some pink flowers next to it and it's just andrea mclean photography i don't she googled this and found it or what and she always now like she tags the person that she finds the picture from but imagine you're just andrea going about your day <laughs> and you get tagged in a caption you go and look and it's britney spears telling the world that she's pregnant and it's your your picture of your cup of coffee. No better way to get that publicity than a Britney Spears pregnancy. Right? Like, this is one of those classic cases where I just go, good for them. Yeah. Because I don't want to say much about it. <laughs> it Andrea McLean. Yeah, there she is. She's got an Etsy shop. <laughs> That's just like, I wonder how she found her. But probably on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, she just finds these, finds these pictures. So, um... I don't know. I think like uh, Brittany, did she post something else? Oh my God's grace. Find you always another little video. I, uh, she and Sam clearly very close. I, I also just hope she's not like, I don't timing wise as far as announcing publicly. Like, I'm like, where, where is she right now? And that like, is it recent? And she's just said it or I'm, you know, not sure. So we don't know about that, but you just wish them all the best. I don't know if you guys saw this over the weekend or how tuned in to the, some of the Bachelor drama everyone is, but I think this might happen more often than some people realize, and um, it doesn't like get blown up to this level, but Clayton was accused of taking home a girl from a bar in New York City on TikTok over the weekend. I'm not even going to say what her name is oh I, I was gonna say let's play it and see if people can get through it because it's oh, one of the most no no TikToks i don't i don't even because like now at this point i'm like don't even give her the yeah free publicity yeah now. i don't think she needs the attention right. but it's she um, got the attention she, she got ordered. the attention and if you want to find the TikTok, it's very easy to find yes. and you can look it up but um very long TikTok. i i don't watch the bachelor i don't know anything about the bachelor blah 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 but I think I broke up a uh, engagement or a marriage or all these things. And everyone's like, oh, my God, Clayton. And it went back and forth a lot to the point where Clayton addressed it. Susie addressed it. The girl talked on the phone with the reality. Steve, they got a, a security pic photo of, I think, the guy's uh, apartment or where he was staying of them, like, walking in from the bar. And then everyone was like, yeah, that's not Clayton. But 
it, it, it was absurd. It was absurd. And if you do believe what she is saying, as far as like what the story is or how she sees the story now, it's that uh, a man approached her at Penny Farthing. If you're from New York City or you live in New York City, it's the so number funny. one sign to you should have been. Penny, Penny Farthing. Farthing. It's like so that fucking right funny. off the bat. You're like, there's no way Clayton was at Penny Farthing in New York City. And also, if Clayton was at Penny Farthing at 2 a.m. on a weekend night, like, do you know how many 21 to 24 year olds are in Penny Farthing at that time? Like, people would have been losing their he shit. He would have been so. He, he would have been, been surrounded. Been there's, there would have been no way he could talk to a girl like this. He would have been absolutely mobbed. So that yeah, that's a funny part of this. And then there was a lot of like, one of my fa- one of my favorite parts was um, when she started to backtrack. She was commenting on TikTok and was like, "The it might not be Clayton." Like my friend took my phone and commented that it was Clayton. <laughs> like no, I, this girl. It was just like it's really sad that people could just make up blatant lies about yeah. people and post she, things. And she then she has a few you, hundred thousand followers right. on TikTok too. So like, so people are like, they see that they're like, oh, she yeah. must be legit. And I think she's she's it appears like posted videos like this before yeah like, i met this celeb right. and, and she blah, has posted blah, blah, blah. about the bachelor before people yeah. scrolled back and they're like you do know what the bachelor is she did a yeah. video about what she would wear if she went on the bachelor yeah. so i uh, people are really nuts like you, you clout clout the, like the, if you don't think someone if you're like wow how could somebody how could somebody do that there are nuts I humans be, human beings out there this girl seems to be kind of one of them i it, think sometimes you hear like the cheating rumors or things like that and you're like oh what kind of person would make that up and it's you like know? people it's make like people those things really up. really do make that shit They up. really do. It's really fucked up, but they want like their five seconds of fame and they want other people that they don't know because like Clayton and Susie are not real people to them. Yeah. So they're like, oh, who gives a fuck if I make them feel shitty or like ruin something or cause some sort of attention because they don't exist in, in their lives. Yeah. And then also what saying she get I made it? a TikTok with the purpose of going viral because Susie wouldn't have seen it otherwise. Like, it's she, like, because people were like, why wouldn't you just message her? Because she said she did. She's like, well, she wouldn't have seen it unless like yeah i think that noticed. clayton and Susie. um i'm glad that they seem to be doing okay yeah it seems like you know clayton he posted where he was at that time he had it on his phone Susie posted her being on the phone with clayton yeah another the- funny thing was him he's saying that he was like he was like here i was at the gym in arizona between like 7 and 8 p.m their time which was you know obviously yeah. later on the east coast there's no way i could make it to new york he was like even if i got on a private jet i still wouldn't yeah. land in new york until about 3 30 a.m yeah. there's no way i would make it to penny farthing at that time and Susie on tiktok was like side note like can't believe i'm um, we're like week weekend like night gym people like let's like we're gonna yeah. move past that but it seemed like she has a, a good attitude about it because she has a funny, anybody good sense would of humor, be like but like what the fuck uh, these people are are just crazy i i felt did you see jason wait i posted say- his, a tiktok from his show like jason posted a tiktok from his show i think it was the new york show where he said like he got blackmailed where girls th- it was like a coordinated attack of like multiple gr- i think it was girls he said commenting that he had hooked up with them or one of them at a white party and like Caitlyn had seen them and he was like, what the fuck is this? And then he got like a Vemo for like $300. What? People are out of their minds. Yeah. It's actually really sad. Like yeah. that these people have he to He posted it on this. TikTok, I think, if people And want also to because it, you want. I, I think I just butchered that explanation. Like as for Caitlyn and Susie, it's like you want, obviously Jason or Clayton wants them to believe, but then you have to be in their shoes and be like, what the fuck do I believe right now? Kelly Keek said that imagine it was because J- Jesse Palmer lives in New York City. She was like, imagine it was just Jesse Palmer and Penny Farthing. Yeah. <laughs> like that would be be so fucking absurd but this whole this whole ordeal was really insane and i actually feel really bad for clayton and Susie and just people yeah. in that uh area where they have to worry about people just making things up about them just because they want attention the idea that <laughs> the idea that there's like a man going around <laughs> New York City, specifically like Murray <laughs> Hill bars, like or not in a, Bur- Penny Far, like the Murray Hill crowd esque bars, and being like, I was the bad. Like, if that, if that, that just concept is hilarious. Like, and I know, I think Noah posted, not this Noah, Noah from The Bachelor, Noah posted to being like, Honey, you got you got catfished by a guy who told you he was yeah. Clayton from The Bachelor. Right. We're weirdly enough. 
people have done that to like barstool people too like where people pretend to be the people here and like go up to girls and tell them like you know i can make you a star like yeah. i've i've actually heard an, an exact story yeah. like that and i'm just like that's, that's it's really crazy creepy and weird it's crazy like do not yeah google people i don't like yeah she's like i couldn't take a picture with him because i was banned from snapchat oh is snapchat oh. the only way to take a photo also you're banned someone? from snapchat that's a red flag yeah that's How that's not banned great. from snapchat it's pretty hard to get banned from snapchat i think i think snapchat is one of those platforms where like anything goes yeah pretty hard to get banned from snapchat yeah so at the end of the day absolutely no truth to this is crazy i do like Honestly, it's nuts that Clayton and Susie had to even like address it. But w at the point that like the TikTok blew up so fast, it feels like it appeared on everyone's for you page right. at the same on time. whatever it was Saturday or Sunday, like so quickly where everyone saw it and it turned into like such an ordeal. So, hey, you know, it, it totally sucks. But it's like when you see stories like that on TikTok, you know, take them with the grain of salt, I think. We have a great interview with Jenny Mullen talking about, you know, life in New York, her new book. She is so, so funny. Uh, we also want to remind you guys that we have a nice little new treat that we've been trying in the office. And I think you guys should try them, too. It's called Slick. They are frozen cocktail pops. They are available in different spirit-based packs. There's the agave margaritas and rum daiquiris. Um, each pop, can, we have the margarita pack in the office and in the freezer each pop contains eight percent apv and only natural flavors all coming in at under 100 calories so you know they're, they're you're looking to have a good time these things will get you there they're convenient enough to throw in the cooler and bring along to a backyard barbecue boating on the lake or a day hanging at the pool party just know that once you slick sipping will never be the same uh they are they're very good. I highly recommend the margarita ones. I feel like they're perfect for summertime, getting into that mindset. You could easily pack them in a cooler and take them wherever you want to go. So head to slickspiritedice.com to snag a pack of slick or two or 10 and stock your freezer with pops for your next good times occasion. Make sure to use promo code SLICKCHICKS2 to get 10% off your order today. Let me read that. That's S L I Q Chicks 2. So slick, I'm saying it, but it's slick S L I Q spiritedice.com. Use code slick chicks 2, 10% off your order. And this ad has been brought to you by 21 Holdings LLC in West Chicago, Illinois. Must be 21 and up to purchase and consume. Please drink responsibly. All right, everyone, we are here with a special guest. We are joined by Jenny Mullen. She's here to talk about her new book, City of Likes. Uh, it comes out in June, you just yes, said, right? Yes, it comes out June 14th. So uh, I'm actually very excited to talk about this because more recently we've had people come on and talk about their books, but it's all books about their lives. Yeah. This is... A lot of memoirs. Yeah, a lot of which memoirs. Which you have done. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I love a good memoir. Yeah, right. Yeah. But this is not that. This is... No. Ha I, I want to know just like the writing process for coming up with like your own story. Yes. The yeah. novel. Well, with the novel. Fiction. With the novel, <laughs> sorry. Let me Fiction, yeah. use the So with this, word. I sort of had this idea that just kept running over and over in my head and it was uh, based kind of on like experience that I was having at the time with being a mom to another child. And uh, I don't know, I, I, with Sid, maybe it wasn't a, as big of a thing, but this whole mommy influencer sort of wave Mm -hmm. Yeah, started and I found myself just ensconced by like this crazy world and people asking me to post stuff and people wanting me to advise on you know like neti pots yeah. <laughs> and all the yeah. weird accoutrement yeah, yeah, that yeah. comes with uh, being a new mom and it is crazy you do find that it, I, I some of these people I feel like I'm, I wonder do they keep having babies because it's good for business right <laughs> there right. is a weird component yeah. there oh, that I, you there's can't, some money in there yeah there's a lot of money to yeah. be made um and and while I was entrenched in that world I would you know be on my late night scrolls through Instagram looking at my contemporaries and other women going through the same thing and wonder if you're curating your if motherhood online how present are you in your real life for right. your kids mm -hmm. and how are we what you know what kind of message are we sending if you know we're glued to our phones like their cigarettes 
all day long and and it haunted me and I couldn't not, I couldn't get over it and I just grew more and more outraged the more shit I saw <laughs> and the more captions I read oh, I that mean, are just yeah. bullshit and yeah. you're like this is not the real I've been at your house yeah. I've seen how often you look at your children this is not yeah. real life <laughs> right uh, yeah. so my rage drove me to write a novel because I knew if I if I wrote this book as a memoir I would have to move yeah you burn yeah. some bridges <laughs> yeah. I would burn a lot of bridges yeah, yeah. and also I feel like I mean, we're not moms, but you probably have seen like you'll write something about what you did for your kid and then people have like a ton of opinions yes. on you doing something wrong. Yes, for sure. How for frustrating sure. is that? Because I remember there was a, a time where we were, I forget the person that we were following. They were like a mommy influencer type. And we just like, I, I, I was just like mind blown about I know what you're talking about. I can't Someone remember had, like, exactly what it was wrong years ago. Stroller or something. Like, put the kid in the stroller it's wrong just, like, or something. It's just like, you just see and then, and wrong. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like, really don't like yeah, that. Like, I'm not a mom, but all of a sudden, I'm <laughs> reading yeah. all yeah. about, like, what I should be doing as a mom on Instagram and, like, yes. all these opinions. Yeah. Like, how do you deal with that? Well, my favorite was one time uh, somebody wrote me. I was getting an IV, I don't know, some sort of vitamins. I'd been sick and I had to go I would speak at this luncheon and I was sitting there there was a guy at my house giving me an IV and I said you know getting hair and makeup while like doing intravenous mm. drugs you know some some something rather innocuous I guess if, from my point of view <laughs> uh, yeah. and um Somebody wrote like, how dare you? What kind of an example are you setting for your children that you're <laughs> making jokes about drugs? And I said, you know, my my kids are in private school because my husband fucked an apple pie. So I have yeah. bigger <laughs> fish to fry. I'm not really giving a fuck yeah. about what right. I'm posting right now. You have right some now. interesting also, you things want, to explain to our kids right. down the line. To, exactly. <laughs> and sort of, yeah, you also explore. want your kids to have a sense of humor. Yeah, right? exactly. So it's like when no, people are like, how can so you joke absurd. about that? It's like, well, I want my kid to understand a joke. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> yeah. I kind of go at them and I love, I love when they get mad at about, oh, you're about like, the oh, oversharing. Like you're, yeah. <laughs> you know, I remember when I posted some pictures from after I had Sid at, at the time, there was a whole thing. I don't know. It was on like the morning news about like, because people weren't sort of live streaming. It was a different, this was 2014. And mm -hmm. they're like, I can't believe she shared shots of her placenta yeah. or, you know, whatever it was. Um, and I had to like go on the news and defend myself because it's I know it's so stupid. It's like they only wanted to see a highlights reel at that point. Yeah. Now I feel like you can get away with being a, a bit more real. Mm. But still, yeah. it, it's and it, funny. You, and I feel like and I you love can never to just win. Like, stir the pot. Like, <laughs> yeah. what else did you have? Really, this right. bothered you? Well, I'm going to double down. <laughs> double on down. That. Do yeah. it again. Do yeah. it more. The because then I do think like you see your social media right, and you always cover your kids' faces I and do, like yeah. that. Mm. Either it's uh, it's funny because I feel like that people either praise that or they're like. Why are you oh, yeah. like why are you, yeah. why are you even like, posting if you're not going to post their face? <laughs> totally. They're it's, like who do you think you are? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like I'm such a big deal. I'm like, like no, people I'm, care about your kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what they say. But I get scared especially living in New York City. Mm -hmm. It's not totally. like my kids are in well, first of all, I don't want to like, exploit their them in that way, like for my own comedy, even though I write about them. It's yeah. just like a slippery slope. But I also am nervous with, they're not in a car and then in a backyard and then in school. They're right. literally walking on the street. And I hate when I go to a park and I can pick out who somebody's kid is and they'll be there with their nanny. It's not even necessarily right, yeah. the mom that's with them. But you know the kid's name? That's dangerous yeah. as fuck. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I don't understand. And then you feel like a weirdo. You're like, how do I know this kid? Oh, yeah. Then I feel creepy for even staring at the kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like checking out like what they're wearing. Yeah. Right. But no, I know. And I don't know if moms in LA maybe don't have the same, I don't know, issues yeah. that I have. No, right. I, from New, yeah. York yeah. New York is different. New York is different. New York is different because yeah. you have like 10 year olds on the subway alone. Like that's oh my God, it's crazy. You yeah. know, like compared to that doesn't happen in LA. No. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm just a child of the 80s. I'm, uh, I, you know, I grew up feeling like everybody wanted to murder me and kidnap me yeah. and like molest me <laughs> yeah. in, you know, in like a park. So there's also that going on. I'm sure yeah. I'm projecting some of it, but mm -hmm. I'm scared about it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's super fair. I feel like I, New York, I don't know. I've raising kids and do you like raising your kids in New York? At first, I mean, I moved here because well, I moved to New York because I w just was in the throes of postpartum and just like I it, I couldn't believe that I was a mom and in charge of somebody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. 
when does the yeah. mom show up? Yeah. Why is the mom? Oh my God. You're also like, wait, this is like forever? This, like, yeah. this is like forever. a human like, being. What do I do with it? Yeah. I remember it came, it, it came home. It came <laughs> home from the hospital. And I remember like that moment of cutting the, the little bracelet off Sid's arm. And I'm like, I can never return. Yeah. <laughs> I can never return now. The bracelet's cut. The tags are off. Uh, no, but I moved here because it felt safer. And I felt like I could work and also be a mom. And you New moved York, from California? Yes. In okay. California, you're in your car all the time. I would yeah. be writing all day. And by the time I fucking got back to my house, it'd be 6 p.m. and the baby's going down. And in New York, it was a giant cruise ship. I could be a mom upstairs, but I could also disappear downstairs to a night of dancing and entertainment yeah. and some Barry Manilow. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got you yeah. on a cruise ship. Yeah. Uh, everything could be delivered. It was so much easier yeah. and felt safer and smaller for me. Um, there was a whole story in my second book. I also, I mean, what I'm not disclosing to you is that I truly believed my house in LA was haunted. Mm, we had yes. purchased Why? a new home and well, I, I, I made my mom sleep in the baby. My mom's here today, guys. <laughs> I made my mom sleep in the nursery because I was like, well, heavy eye roll. <laughs> if the yeah. ghost kills my mom, I mean, I guess I can like, I'll be sad, yeah. but then I'll know that there, there is a ghost here. I have to like sacrifice someone. Like, the baby, I feel You're like, like she's lived soon. a long life. She's yeah. had a great life. She's had a good run. So no, but I talked to a psychic and the psychic told me that I had a ghost, mm. but it was a ghost dog, but he had an old man partner. And I remember saying to her, I'm cool. Like, the dog can chill. Yeah, yeah. Right. The, dog. Right. the old man partner must go. Yeah. Yeah. And but they're not always bad, them. right? Like, yes. did she describe that to you? I mean, I don't know for sure, but I yes. feel like that's what I always hear. It's like, the ghosts are an evil. But he could, like, watch me in the shower. It was just yeah. a whole thing. So I had to move. <laughs> a pervy ghost. Right. <laughs> and Jason was from Jersey. And Jason, you know, was doing... I think he was doing the Heidi Chronicles at the time. So he was in New York. We had a small apartment in New York uh, already. And I figured, you know, once I got here, was, I was here for a few months, I thought, okay, if I could just tell him I want to move to New York, we can sell that other house. He'll sell it because he'll, and then I'll figure out how yeah. to get back later. Yeah. So I really <laughs> thought it was like maybe just like a quick fix. And then I, you know, seven years later, I guess... Yeah, um, that didn't. My plan didn't go. So right, you. you so my, my sister kept calling every year. She'd be like, "When the fuck are you moving back?" I you said you were coming right back. Yeah, uh, this did not go as we planned. I, I know I, your family's in California. My mom's in San Diego, yeah. and my sister with three boys, married to Jason's best friend, is in L.A. Yeah, wow, so she's, she's really Jason's pissed best that friend. I stayed. Yeah, that worked out. Who nice. met first? <laughs> well, Samantha was the reason I met Jason, and then she met Duran through us. Okay. Yeah. Zen, no, I guess that I don't must know. be nice when it works out. Yeah, yeah. Right? like it could have <laughs> went poorly. Yeah. Exactly. Everybody Thank wants God. to set up the best friend yeah. with the family member, right? <laughs> no, I know it could have been a raging disaster. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I feel like, and I'm, you know, touch on the book, and it's like the kids living in the the moms are in the social media world, and the yes. kids are in the social media world, and now like kids are on social media at an earlier age. I have a lot of younger cousins. And sometimes, like, I see them on social media, oh and gosh, I'm just like, crazy. Uh, yes. why? No. Why? Help. Right? <laughs> they look so much older on like, social media. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about, like, the 13-year-old boys in the shower that are like, hey. Yeah, I know. I so I don't, what are those Wait, videos? What Whose mom is allowing that? Video? I know. And I don't know when yeah. girls just, like, skipped over having their awkward stages. Mm -hmm. Like I know I now looked, they're all like smoking hot. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's absolutely insane. My, we always joke, I'm one of my best friends has um, sisters that are seniors in high school. And so like they're going through the graduation, the part, like all this stuff, the yes. proms, all the things. And they are taking all these group photos and she sends them to us and we're just like, who are these Victoria's Secret models yes. posing as 17-year-old <laughs> totally. girls? Because, yeah. like, and then we'll send, we'll joke and Evolution. send back the pictures of us senior year oh of high school. God. And we're like, that's amazing. What, when did this change? Yeah. When did this change? And what are they doing? Like, what I, is, I what don't are know. Like, See, college and gummies think, are they doing? <laughs> and understand. also, do you think it's, like, parents are giving their kids the access earlier to like makeup and getting their hair done or is it Maybe. just like a natural evolution like I can't you figure it out boys? Uh, yeah sometimes I'm happy I have boys but other times well recently Sid said to me he's like so and so has a crush on me this girl this oh. naming off the girls as if they're Pokemon cards that he's collecting yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, do you, which one do you like he's like I, no I don't like any of them I think I'm just gonna be one of those guys that everyone likes I was like <laughs> oh no you're that you're guy you're like, like, oh, like, I hate my kid right, I'm raising like that douchebag yeah. great oh my oh, gosh God. that is yeah. really funny i know i feel like 
we see and the mom the mom instagram is cr- like my do you I don't follow fo- any moms I, so i don't but and how, Matt, I mean, how old people, are you guys exactly so i'm 27 i'm 24 yeah hmm. yeah oh my god chic i love it yes <laughs> and so so i don't like i mean i follow a ton of people who have I follow for years who have now become moms. right, right. Like okay. naturally, they've become yes. moms. Yes, and now we see yes. them becoming like mommy type. I don't follow. Okay. Um, like there, I have a friend who always, and she sends the post, so I see them. She follows all these like Dallas, Texas oh. mommy bloggers. Oh my and, god! And those Amazing. people are priceless, incredible. Like yeah. it's constant <laughs> photo shoots. Everything, everyone's in coordinated colors. Mm, yes, the everything's house, like religious. I the feel house like. is oh, yeah. not de- like designed so perfectly, and yes. every single post is so like aesthetically beautiful. Yes, <laughs> it's like yes. this can't be your life. And it's they probably life, like yeah. hate each other. Like the like the husband and wife oh, or yeah. whoever like yeah. probably fucking hate each other. Like for if you sure. think about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for probably. sure. No, it is. It's crass. It's Isn't that crazy? Insane. It's mm-hmm. like, and I and I do like. I do like following the girls or mom, you know, now moms that have had babies that I'm like, this is so cool to see them become moms recently. Like, yeah. you know, I love following Emily D. I was just going to oh, say, she's a model, yeah. beautiful. I was just going to say her like the coolest girl. Lately, I've been seeing her post on her and story. And she just had a baby. Right. She okay. just had yeah. a baby, but like, she's like very honest on her story about like, like people now are be like, are like you sound like you hate your kid and she's like no uh, I'm just saying like what's happening to yes, me like yes. I don't I'm not I don't hate my child but like right. this is what's happening I just right. miss then, my old life right, and, and, a lot and, and, she's, <laughs> and she's just like she's like I, now I'm confused on what I should share and not share because I thought you guys wanted to know but now it seems like I'm gonna get in trouble if I tell you yes. guys actually how I'm feeling so. yeah yeah yeah, you definitely just have to push through. Yeah. Would you draw the line anywhere or when you share, it's just like a pe- you said when people come at you, you just can double down sometimes. Oh, I love when they like just want to like bitch about the stupidest stuff. Then yeah. I'm, I just find it so funny. You get funny. excited. Yeah, I yeah. get excited. I'm like, oh my God, you're giving me a grapefruit. This is so easy. Uh, but no, I, I the only things I, I pulled back on sharing are... Um, well, there's just like a few things that I've shared in the past where it's like, I wish I could you couldn't Google that now. There's certain things yeah. that unfortunately just live on the internet. Yeah. Um, but but mo- for the most part, I just feel like everybody's going through so much shit that yeah. why? I know. Why, yeah. Like, yeah. Do you, you mean know, like in I'm your just, in your personal life or with the kids too? Like just all of it. Personal life involving stuff with the kids, mm-hmm. I think, is like where I've had to really question my decision making with some of that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I mean, like, I had a miscarriage during the pandemic. I had talked, I talked about that already, but I didn't post it on Instagram and I never, like, mentioned it. And I think the old me probably would have done some stories about it and talked right. about it. But honestly, at the time, I was like, I, I just don't need yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't want to talk there. to I don't need yeah. another random people about this. Like, yeah, or I didn't even care about that. I would have like privately talked to anybody mm. who DM'd me as I do, which mm-hmm. is so bad. I'm like, have you had a thyroid problem? And I'm like <laughs> talking to like everyone's mom in wherever the fuck. But no, I yeah, I just didn't want it to be clickbait somewhere. Yeah, just that's feel, true. Felt like ugh, yeah, not worth it. Yeah, I I that makes sense. I feel like there there's a lot sharing, and I I laugh when I see so much of your stuff. Like I just was laughing with going on vacation, and you were like, "This is kind of this is great, but why take an eight year old on vacation?" Oh my god, it was the worst choice I've ever made. I, I never do it again. I wonder that when people take their kids to Disney and yeah. they're like one years old, I'm like, they're not gonna remember, no. and they're like, no, it's not about them remembering. It's about seeing their face light up when the character walks by. I'm like. So it's for you or for the kid? Because they're still yes. not going to remember that when they're one years old. It's so funny. My girlfriend, Bethany, literally just said verbatim what, when I loved watching their faces light up when like they met the characters. And I was like, I don't care if their faces ever light up. <laughs> yeah. if, if they don't ever know that exists, yeah. why do I? Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm not offering just like you know drugs to them yeah it's so funny because i think like you guys were traveling around the same time that i also i went on a trip and just from the airports i was going to dominican republic so it was like peak spring break time it's just families on all the flights and i remember and i said this when we came back like i remember like looked at my boyfriend and was like 
I'm yeah. not never taking children on no. a vacation. I had a blast no. as a kid though on vacation. Like when I was eight years old, my parents took oh, us to like Atlantis, so much Bahamas, fun. Yes. and we had a great time. But I yes. think my parents also were the type to like. I went to Vegas when I was like, I fifth grade. I appreciate how much and yeah. they like harder that was for my parents. Yeah, now. Right, but yeah. also like my parents were the type to be like, you're gonna stand in the casino next to us like in the day as we yes. gamble, and like you're just gonna have to stand exactly. there. But I loved it. I was yeah. like, this is so like growing up. I think it's a funny story to tell. I'd be like, I was just dragged around casinos and. Yeah. In fifth grade but I can imagine in their eyes being like I wish she wasn't hovering over our shoulder the entire time right. no but it's true like we didn't cater I don't think our parents catered to us the way I cater to my kids my yeah. mom's like okay have fun in the kids club I'll see you at 9 p.m yeah you know yeah, exactly that's the what kids I should club. be doing but I don't I'm like what do you want to do today yeah I mean he and has you me know so what's whipped. funny is like <laughs> I think I remember more experiences from like kids clubs on vacation being younger than I do spending I was time never put family. in a kids club <laughs> Never? I was never put oh in the Oh my god, club. we, we just go to I kids also club had older all the time. siblings and my parents would just leave me with them and then they would like tie me yeah, up and yeah. not give me food. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. But that's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> what a vacation. Yeah, well, it was funny looking back. I like having stories like that though cuz then it like, you know, builds yeah. character. <laughs> it's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, um Jason has been on our show before and yes. we laughed because he we were talking about the bachelor and he explained kind of how he had gotten involved. Um, watching because of you and then I had told him like I really had started following his tweets because I followed oh. you on Twitter oh my god when okay. you would live tweet the show mm. way back like the it was best. like 10 years ago now 10 years ago and I was mm -hmm. like oh my god she is so fucking funny like I and it made me want to tweet about the show oh, that and they were my so favorite tweets flattering. and then you stopped doing it and yes. I uh, and, now and we're I got upset now we're stuck yeah. tweeting about <laughs> yeah. it I stopped you know I stopped well I think I stopped I stopped Nick Vile season which is weird because I know Nick Vile and I do, it's not like I hate Nick Vile or yeah, anything, yeah. but his season was just so boring to me I couldn't get into it <laughs> yeah and then the Trump all the Trump stuff happened yeah. and Twitter became a different place it was dangerous to tweet it was suddenly not I did not feel safe putting any jokes out there I felt like everything I said mm -hmm. or did right in that medium could be misconstrued I would have you know yeah have like militia at my door I don't know I just did not feel safe yeah. so I stopped the tweeting I know I know and it's hard it made to me sad do you I still know. lurk on there or do you just no, no I don't go on in general I know I know you know I so I hosted that after show with Chris yes. Harrison the mm -hmm. the bachelor after paradise yeah it was a bachelor in paradise after paradise yes mm -hmm. that was fun. I watched I went, that that was so fun I went to Jaden Tanner's wedding which yeah. was crazy Crazy and gotten like, I think like Claire, whatever Crawley. Crawley. Yeah, she like got really like mad at me in the bathroom and oh like my God. was saying like mean That's things. Amazing. Yes, yeah, so I sat next to. Um, <laughs> what mean things did she say to you in the bathroom? She was like, "You're old," or so I don't know something. <laughs> I forget what it was, but she was like pissed that I had, you know, all the tweets. Yeah, it's weird to have tweeted like hate tweeted the show yeah. and then to suddenly like be embraced by the producers of the show right and right. they're like meet your new friend jenny and they're like fuck you yeah, yeah. <laughs> i get it i get it i said terrible things about them yeah but um yeah that was awkward yeah neil lane and i partied i mean it was interesting it was a weird time <laughs> i just yeah i know i wish i still tweeted it do you still watch it i don't no but really? i really want to watch alon you know alon gale who went on yes. to do yeah i want to watch his new show he does he did Fuckboy Island, yes. right? Yeah. And he has a new one coming out. Oh, a out. new one? Mm -hmm. I did watch F Boy Island. Was I it know good? It was not like Um, I enjoyed it. It was okay. it was different. It was it was good because I felt like it didn't take itself seriously, if that right. makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like it was a show about finding love, but no one yeah, on right. the show like really believed they were finding they, love. Yeah, they you know? weren't like, okay, like okay. cast to okay. get engaged at the end of this. Yeah. Like it wasn't so serious, like, I felt. The okay. girls who were picked to be the leads, like all definitely wanted to find connections, but you could tell the boys were totally just there, like to, okay. to fuck around. Right. And like Nikki Glazer, oh, she's so, she's yeah, hilarious. So like yeah, she so jokes funny. about it. And I mean, the concept was hilarious. Like they, the guys would be sent home and they would be sent to what we saw as like a, a hut. Right. And they'd have like nothing and they'd film them on camera, like sleeping on cots. And they'd be like, that, you're an F boy. And now you've been banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my was, God, stop it. Yeah. So, 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 so yeah, it was, it yeah. laughed. They, it laughed at itself. Like okay, is why oh I felt God. like it was good. Yeah. Do you watch any other reality shows? No, not right now. I really, I'm trying to think what, no, not, not really. I don't know how to turn the TV on in my house. Yeah. So Jason's shooting, <laughs> so you don't watch, away, so I'm stuck. You don't watch much TV. 
I don't really watch a lot of TV. I, mm. I watched, I did see the t- twin, tin, the Tinder Swindler. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 the <laughs> yes. documentary. Really yes. like that. Um, no, I don't, I don't watch a ton of TV. Yeah. You know, well, I feel like, how long does it take you to make those beautiful no, lunches? Guys, I'm fucking make? trapped yeah, in my kids' room yeah, at night. What? Like, I can't get out. What I don't about these lunches? TV. I know. I'm like, oh. can Jenny make me these lunches? Yeah, so the like, lunches. I'm like, this. I would like to take them right. to work with me. Yeah, so the lunches started. I was just bored. I just, you know, I would, come, I don't know how to turn the TV on. So yeah, I'd be yeah. roaming around <laughs> my apartment at night. I know, I would know that, you know, I have to make something for school the next day. And I sort of got into this whole idea of, it was just a way of like, you know, a sublimation of my own guilt as for being a working mom. I wanted to like make something that would be like communicating with him, pushing his boundaries food wise, just exposing him to different things and just uh, like a playful version of a handwritten note. Right. Um, so I just started making shapes and then I like, got really deep into the bento art on Instagram. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I can make a bistro chair <laughs> out of a fucking cucumber. Yeah. You, yeah, I wasn't even a... stoned, believe it or not. <laughs> I really I, imagine if I were stoned, I could probably make it a, probably even, even better shit, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do go on TikTok and at all and see those pages. There's like no, one. I need to. There's one mom I follow. I have to figure out the name okay. that like it's the same TikTok every single day. And she's like, this is what I made my uh, my kid for oh, lunch I today. have seen it. Yes. And it's like the same every single day. It's the same exact TikTok, but a different lunch. And I just became obsessed with looking at these every day. Oh, and that's it. what yours reminded me of. It was just like yes. it was just like curated so perfectly. Yeah. And she's like, and then I did a little baby. Bit, and yeah, she yeah, does yeah. the voiceover. Yeah, yes. I've heard those. They're and I'm funny. just like, wow, like, how did you come yes. up with that idea? <laughs> yes. Like, mini of everything. Everything yes. was miniature. <laughs> yes, oh. totally. No, yeah, it's random. And then I guess the teachers again, this is my like whole doubling down thing. They right. were getting annoyed. And so then the I started teachers? to like, you know, Why? they, they, were, were, they like, were just like, please don't ask us to like take to de-seed an avocado or to like reheat a bao bun like once yeah. it gets here. <laughs> I mean, like just send a fucking sandwich. And yeah. so then one day I was like, Jason, like, make I'm a sending... fucking peanut butter and jelly yeah. and some yeah. carrots and please. Like... Right. And that's like when I got extreme. I was like, all right, we're going to do like a shrimp paella. <laughs> gonna... And they were just, I mean, it was funny, but and now it's a book. It comes out September yeah, 13th. I was going to say lunches. That. Amazing. It's ridiculous. And are you, are you still making these lunches? Yes, I mean, I mean, she watched me make yeah. one last night. Yeah, that is great. And and are the lunches enjoyed? Sometimes, sometimes. but sometimes, you know, he's sort of like Julius Caesar, where he yeah. does the thumb thing, and he's like, "Mom, today's lunch." <laughs> and then I'm just, you know, destroyed. But no, part of doing it with the, with feeding kids, I'll just say to any of your listeners who have kids, it's like you cannot give up. You cannot let them win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the more you just, it's just about repetition. So, you know, for instance, we have a war on blueberries in my house where he doesn't want blueberries. So they're always sneaking up in different places. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just, I keep giving them to him. And eventually I know he's going to, like, you know, with peppers and everything else, eventually he's just going to be like, fine, yeah. I'll eat the fucking blueberry. Yeah, All yeah. Right. That's smart. <laughs> and I was, uh, I feel like a, you could trick a kid and, like, hide yeah. a blueberry and something. Yes. They take a bite and be like, guess what you just ate? A blueberry. Yes. Right. They don't no, I know. do. Oh my God. Because yeah. these moms take it personally and then they're yeah. like, oh God, he doesn't like anything I give him. It's like, who gives a fuck? Keep yeah, giving yeah. it to him. Yeah. yeah. He, does, he hasn't tried it yet. <laughs> exactly. He doesn't know. He doesn't like it. I was at a yes. baby shower recently. And, you know, it's all women, but somebody yeah. had to bring their son who was like three years old. Oh, okay. And it was at a, a great Italian restaurant. Like, it was just mm. all really, really good food. Mm-hmm. But he didn't want to eat anything. Like, oh, yeah. literally, not, like, he just didn't want to eat anything at all. And they were like, okay, we'll eat something when you get home. And I'm like, just yeah. have him take a bite of the penny alla vodka because it's yeah. amazing. And if yes. he tries it, he'll really like it. Like, yeah, right. Right? Like, just be yeah. like, really try it. But exactly. watching it, I was like, hmm. No, you some can't kids, start catering to Some that. kids, yeah. they just really, like... Yeah, I know some of my cousins. I remember my aunt up and, until and those recently. Those are it's like the kids that end up fing- eating chicken yeah, fingers yeah. until chicken they're like fingers twenty. Until well, they're twenty, it's yes. true. I yeah. mean, we still love chicken fingers, but that's we love everything. No, I but, but like they never only eat chicken fingers. It's like oh, we're having like this big meal at my house on Thanksgiving, but like on the side, we have to make you plain pasta with yeah. butter or just no like chicken way. fingers. I'm yeah. like, you're getting what I'm getting. Yeah. The end. There's no it kids menu piss, happening here. It used to piss off my mom so much when I would invite friends over for like weekends or whatever. Yeah. And I'd be like, so uh, 
she just and it, Claire's gonna kill me, but it's like, it's like my she's my your best, best friend. friend yeah. so it's okay. It was like bagels, <laughs> ham sandwiches, right, like yeah. pizza, very like, plain. and like that, and like yeah. that's it. And we'd be in a place. We would go to places where like there's tons of really great seafood, and yes. it's like no go, nothing. Wow, <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it's she'd be like, I gotta go buy ham for Claire. <laughs> oh wow, that's frustrating. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't you think it's? I I can't figure out why I like every food ever and have never had a problem with food. Right, like I. I think yes. it's weird how some people exposed. You are exposed so young, picky. No, but my siblings are like really like my sister's so picky with what she eats, yeah. and I'm like, how come you're really picky, but I'm not? Like, how does that happen? You just mm, that's interesting. You know? just, just like taste buds. Yeah. Well, Sid's taste buds are like very heightened. I'm like, what is this sensory issue? I've never heard of. Because yeah. Jason will <laughs> make a pasta sauce, and he'll be like, what did I do different? It's a red sauce. Like, I mean, you're, what are you tasting besides tomato and salt? Yeah. And she, and Sid's like, oh yes. Mint. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's, like, yeah. it's those bit, lunches. It's weird. Add I'm a like, little bit more garlic this time. He has a that. sensitive palate. Yeah, he notices. Yeah. He notices stuff, and Lazzy doesn't. Lazzy's just like, give me squishy bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is funny. And um, I want to also mention that you now have this podcast you've been doing for yes. I think like the last month, couple months, right now. Yes. Third yes. wheel, with Jenny Mullen. Um, very amazing concept. I gotta say, like, if I wanted. If I was asked, like, what would you love to have as, like, a dream podcast, it would just be to dig into celebrity couples and their yeah. lives. You, are, <laughs> that's you so would funny. love to be, like... And I feel like that's like... what you get to do. Yes, I, and I, you know, not everyone who comes on is a celebrity because I've had yes. some crazy... You know, I have one girlfriend, my friend Joanne, who wrote this book called Preconceptions that came out last year. And her whole story is about how she and her partner, her wife, detransitioned to have their baby and that story is so and like I mean it's wild like it's yeah. just blows mm -hmm. yeah. your mind and that is interview was fucking amazing so sometimes it's and you know but then today it's Ashley right, Tisdale, Tisdale I saw, yeah. so it's different you know I really try to get a just a very eclectic group yeah. of people in there but it's hard not everybody wants to do it a lot of people say, say no who's to me. your dream couple to have on there I mean, my mom and my dad, but they've been divorced for how many years? That's why it would be so interesting. Yeah. I would love to dig into that. I would love to dig into that relationship. That would be fun to get the two of them together. Yeah. Be like, let's talk about your marriage. <laughs> be the first, you'd be like, and you have no choice. You have to, you're on, this is yes. being taped. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Give me the truth. And Give what me about the details. Uh, like a celebrity couple? Celebrity couple? I would love to do, hmm, that's a good one. I mean, I tell you, mine is. Do I have to? Do I no. have? Do I have to say Kim and this Pete Davidson? Because I want to know, like, why? I don't get how you leave one crazy guy and then just immediately date another, like, seemingly <laughs> crazy guy. It doesn't feel like the yeah. smartest move. But yeah. I would love to just dig yeah. a little there. And yeah. now, I mean, there's a. I think a lot of people want now to there dig. with yeah. the kids. Yeah, right? that's and a the, whole. Yeah. He just yeah. met the kids. He's hanging out with the kids. I don't they're, get they're it. And then I also want to know what's around. with the tattoos. Like you're just now. I mean, you're so and in. branded. He branded himself. With yeah, you're name. branded, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you Should can, I brand Jason? Yeah. Is it time? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Maybe yeah. just write like I'm trying to think of a good I, spot. I think it's time. Yeah. for him to be branded. Just, yeah. Jenny. Yeah, <laughs> he has Jenny already. I need to do something. Um, well, there crazy. you go. That was yeah. Pete Davidson's thought process. Apparently, that the tattoo's just not quite permanent enough. It's so. not hot, hardcore enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yep. Who's yours? Oh, I would love to have. Um, Blake and Ryan, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, or I feel like Ashton and Mila. I was going to say ones. Ashton and Mila. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But I feel like they give a lot. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they. Yeah, I feel they, like, I just, I feel like you Blake want ones, Ryan give a lot. You want, I know, but that's what I'm saying. You, I feel like you would want people who would share a lot, who wouldn't be like, mm, mm. I'm not going to tell you. No, that I hate stuff. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like if you're going to come on the podcast about relationships, you better. Well, Share. that's the thing, and I've noticed. I mean, you you'll, you know right away when they start off. It's like, am I going to get to go deep or not? Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You can always kind of tell. Yeah. Right I think that's that. like with all podcasts. I mean, yeah, just probably. With like, that's true. Relationships is just like any guest. Yeah. If you, I'm sure. you know right off within the first couple totally. sentences whether or not yes. they're going to be like. Fun or, or not. Like, <laughs> if you, like if you ask a question, do they give you like a uh, 
one word answer of like yes or do they I like dive that. in and then tell a story yes you know? yeah 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 that's true the best yeah that's um true. well we absolutely the cover of this book is so cute i love it city of lights Thank it's coming guys. out june 14th you aren't watching tv but are you re- like what's the last book you read that you love so the last book i just read one italian summer by rebecca uh, Searle, but love I also rebecca just, Searle. you do have you met yes. rebecca i have never okay but i love i'm big like that's my genre Oh my gosh! Like, I okay. love that. Okay. Oh, I love I'll it. See my, I'll see myself out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I read, just read this book, this book called Mouth to Mouth. Okay. Really good. Okay. Good. Really Noted. Great. I love yeah. that. Love some yeah. good book racks. So everyone can. I guess can you pre-order this now? Please right? pre-order yeah. it. It means pre-order. so much. It changes. Yes. I don't know if you guys ha- have. We have never the written a book yet. <laughs> no. You will one day. But yeah. But yeah. pre-sales <laughs> are everything. Okay. Everything. So pre-order, 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 and then you'll have it just on time for you to. Get your summer reading yeah. in, right? Yeah. Like yeah. that's it's when, that's when I read the most, right? So. Yeah. on the beach, exactly. Yeah. It's the perfect book for that. Yeah. Uh, Jenny, thank you yeah. so much. Thank, for thank you, so much. you guys yeah. so much for having me. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. Portland people, make sure you get your tickets. Make sure you buy our merch. All the links in the, are in the description. We love you guys, and we'll talk to you on Friday.